What is cranking wieners? Welcome back to Camp Claw. It feels so good to be back up in the Northeast. I know we were just here like a week ago, but Texas just wasn't it. I wasn't feeling it. It seemed like a lot of you guys weren't feeling it. You've been requesting, John, come back up to Camp Claw. We miss the Camp Claw videos. We love it. Uh, I know it's a little bit different scenery than when we were filming them in the summertime, but there's still so much to do up here, even if there's, you know, about a foot of this stuff on the ground. And uh, one of my favorite things to do that I actually grew up doing is ice fishing. Ice fishing is literally for lunatics like myself. It's for people who just, I don't know, can't give up the fact that winter is here and fishing gets difficult, but I love it because it's a challenge. And there's something so weird about pulling a giant fish through like a six inch or eight inch hole in the ice. So with that being said, we're gonna chase after a fish that you guys have been requesting tons in the comments section. I'm not gonna give it away because we may not catch this fish. I don't wanna guarantee anything. But yeah, up here in Maine, they're not supposed to be here. So we're gonna try to catch some of these alien fish today, these invasive fish. I, uh, I'm excited. I'm actually very late. So I'm gonna wrap up this intro, meet you guys in the ice, stick with it, stay tuned, and let's have a day. It's game time. We're on the lake, quite literally. Uh, we're parked on the lake right now. We're joining forces with Devin and Ryan. These are the two beauties that first introduced me to main fishing. We've got four sleds, a pity ton of gear, and the willpower and the angst to go catch one of these elusive invasive fish. You guys probably know what it is, but for those of you who don't, I'm gonna build the hype. I'm gonna make it seem interesting. Can you kind of keep you on the edge of your seat, you know? Um, but I had to start off the day with something. This fell out of my jet sled, so I don't, we're trying to figure out how to get that back. Anyway, you guys don't care. It's always a gong show with us, but just note that there's a piece of hardware that's not attached to something, so, I mean, you know how it is. You know how we roll. I knew they were in this truck. I have, so no, I have those, though, because I left them in my cabin. Yeah. yeah. Those do me a lot of good. So, hey. out with the old, in with the new. Thank you, Ryan. You are welcome. Always here to save the day. That is new. I brought a lighter. You brought a lighter? Nice. So you don't have to create fire from nothing? No. No, it's, it's uh, right, right here. Look at that. Ooh. Beauty. Beauty. We're not going to do a catch and cook on the ice? Uh, only if we catch a 25 pound muskie, um, then we'll do a catch and cook. Wow. In this case, size definitely matters. Ryan's got the bigger suckers here. I thought I had some honker suckers. Look at mine. Little juvenile suckers compared to Ryan's. I don't even know. I think your sucker ate my sucker already. Yeah, those are big dogs. So gross. getting after it. Ryan's already set up a tip up. What do you, I haven't done this in four years. I was talking about it in the car with Alex. I don't fish for these guys in a while. You usually just go right behind the dorsal? I usually, depends on how big of the sucker, how big the sucker is. Usually I'll do one in the dorsal, just behind it. And then if it's a huge sucker, I actually put one just above their head oh, or put it in their mouth. This one's ready to get eat. Now you go double bubble. hooks. I, I have two double. trebles okay. on each fish. I gotcha. So this is an automatic fisherman. It kind of takes the place of like what an uh, what a tip up would do. Although it's a little more fun because you get to fight the fish on a rod. These are pretty heavy laker rods. Perfect for what we're chasing after today. We're using big suckers, fresh suckers from Beach Grove Bait and Tackle. We're just sinking these down at about six feet of water. These fish love shallow grassy water. We caught them here in the summertime. Generally speaking, they, they like to stay to the spots that are cooler and have more oxygen and grass facilitates all their needs. Seven feet of water underneath me and about two feet of that water's grass. So that sucker's just hanging above the grass. We'll just let this sit and see if we can get him to bite. Oh, there's a little fish. Bite the little perch or something. Oh, there he is. Little perch. First fish of the day. This is, you know that happens way too much, that my first fish today is always a micro perch. Look at him sporting his dorsal. Pretty little fish. These guys will keep me busy. There's some big ones in here too, so if we catch some good ones today, I will not be bummed. That's not what we're after though. See you, Bubba. Mm -hmm. 
There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. Probably a little perch, bro. Gotta check it out. Oh, what the f was that? That thing came in like real quick. Oh, here we go. He's coming in hot. There we go. Oh, slimy. Not the intended target, but it's a fish. Little tiny pickerel. What's up, Bubba? See ya. They're all over here, Maine. These guys, those guys are actually native. You'd think they wouldn't be, but they are littered throughout the state of Maine. There's another fish down there. Hopefully it's more pickerel. I love pickerel. That was sarcastic, by the way. I don't love pickerel. No offense, pickerel, I'm just not a huge fan. You just aren't that fun. You're slimy, you're stinky, and you like to snap me off. Oh my God, that's a decent fish. Didn't even mark him, just came out of nowhere. I'm guessing it's another pickerel. Yep, what do you know, another pickerel. Can you tell how enthusiastic I am about catching these things? I, I love it, It's they're, they're so exciting. Okay, dude, like you're gonna have to stop that. Bye, get lost. Oh, not looking so good. Flag! Ooh. What do you think? Did you say flag? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I was because I heard you. Oh, it's moving. That fish is taking taking line. Hit him. Get him. Oh wow. Big. Not big. Giant. Yes. Awesome. It. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Woo! yes. Pick roll. Woo! There we go, Dev. That's the energy we needed. Yes. And it's bigger than the last one. Yes. That Dev. I just caught. That's a wall hanger. You know what? We're gonna make pickerel stew tonight, boys. Yeah, I heard it's good. Yeah. Sashimi too. Yeah. Any way you cook them. <laughs> nice, nice brook trout. <laughs> I think that one had a tag in it. We're getting bites. You, you really can't be too bummed out about that. Even though we have this whole bay littered with rods, the only thing we can catch is pickerel. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why. Why are you guys being so grumpy about pickerel? It's not the intended target. How big do those get? Like a whopping five pounds if you're lucky. Yeah, maybe. And the fish we're after are like north of 35 inches. You know, so spin on you <laughs> yeah had, uh, holy sh speaking of pickerel it's just on there. oh no it's a perch well, that's what we're looking for that's what we're <laughs> yeah Shut you that. took the words right out of my mouth Deb. <laughs> thanks so. uh, no it's not don't say that Good. I know it could be good. Third flag of the day. It's not spinning, but the flag is up. It's trip hard. Yeah, it moves. Straight yeah, sideways. Side. Oh my! Flag, flag. Oh, that's definitely that's definitely gonna be a pike. Take it, it's definitely a pike. It? It's screaming line. Is it real? It's screaming line. Like it was just screaming line. That reel was just going so fast. Really? Did you wipe out? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel anything yet. I don't feel anything. I might have dropped it. We need to move more flags up here. That reel was absolutely ripping. Humming. It's gone slack. Let's take a look. Damn it. Damn it. So close yet so far. Oh yeah, he's oh. smoked. He got, he got a little touched up, it looks like maybe. He's still alive. Not a ton. Oh yeah, he's... he's... Yeah, he's... Oh, sure. He's good. Switch to him. Sure. Alright, cool. Come back down there. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna just loosen these guys. Oh, 
What the f is going on? Grab it, Ryan. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Wow. Oh, wait. The pipe big, or a big pipe? Big. Could White be a line. big largey, too. I hope it's a large one for the sake of this line. Oh, it's a, it's a pike. A little pike. Oh, Stop. There we go. Woo! That's what we're after. Mission accomplished. In a matter of like, what was that, 10 minutes? We had. Three flags pop off. Two flags and an auto. That is so sick. That is a beautiful fish. Nice northern pike. That's so sick. On the lightest rod we have too. I kept saying it all day. It's gonna be the light rod. Oh wow. So cool. Well, we didn't get skunked. We got the fish we were after. He's actually really crazy. He is pretty. He's like mint. He's got weird black dots on him yeah. too. Oh, that flag in there to put back up. What the f Okay, on. uh, okay. We're gonna put this guy back. You follow him. Uh, I don't know. See you later, Pike. Get on. Hey, go, go. 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 Oh, yeah, she's going, she's going. Oh, my gosh. All right, someone take it. Did something happen here where these fish just... Turned on out of nowhere. Got him? Yep. Good fish. Feels like a largemouth to be honest. It does. Lazy. Yeah, the way he's he's just like dead weight. Oh, no pickerel. Pickerel. Oh. Fish is a fish though. So we got the pike. Then like literally as I was holding my fish up, pickerel came on the rod that was just off a few moments ago. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled because something else might happen here. What something happened. It was a timing thing, clouds, I don't know. But these fish started to bite and turn on. Literally spraying out of spraying. the water. Holy shit. That drag is tight, so I would grab it. Go. Get him. Okay. This is, I don't even know what flag we're on right now. Oh crap, that drag is tight. Yeah. Anything Nothing there? there? Nothing. That drag, may, it may have tightened down. We're going to try to feel a line. Yeah, it's just a bunch sucker. It's that big sucker. Yeah, he's stuck on the ice. Well, don't pull too hard. What is that? No, it's no, that's the sucker. There we go. Oh my god. We don't even have to say anything. Put that back right in the water. Yeah, you realize tangled. that is those are like huge incisions. Huge. From from basically there to there, that sucker is mangled. That's yeah. a fish that's got a face like that. These clouds moved in. We're supposed to get some technically rain, but it's gonna be snow. It's too cool. Uh, too, yeah, it's way too cold for rain, but we're supposed to get a front that comes in, and all of a sudden, I mean, with a matter of, what, 20 minutes, we've had flags and rods go off. We caught a pike, which is our target species, and whatever was on this flag right here was big. That thing was mangled. You know, I don't think I ever caught a fish on that, Dev. Like, I think those are cursed. We had them all... Actually, I was rigging them up last night. We still had all the rigs from Moosehead when Spencer was up here last year. Absolutely useless. I don't think a single one went off. Flag! Let's go, buddy! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is it stuck? It's good, whatever it is. No, 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 no. Did just come off? Maybe swimming at you. No, he came off. No, he's still on. He's still on. Holy sh**. Be decent, boys. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a nice pike. It's a nice pike. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Woo! Yes, sir. Beauty. Oh, I'll take it. That is awesome, dude. Look at that. Yeah, he does. Maybe tangle with another pike. 
that's a much better fish. We just had snow flurries roll in and that might trigger these northern pike to chew a little bit. That was on a pretty decent sized sucker, I reckon. Send them back. We're getting bigger here, boys. We're getting bigger here. That is so, that's actually a really solid pike. Really solid pike. On the cursed tip up, I was just telling Dove that I've never caught a fish on this tip up. And now look at it. It's absolutely canned. Garage sale on the ice. Buy one now. Fray bill. That is a step in the right direction. The snow's in. I think we might get some more. The boys just hopped off the ice. Sad to see them go, but Ryan's got to plow some snow because all of a sudden it decided to snow. It's supposed to be rain actually in the forecast. I'm glad it's not rain. Alex and I are going to stick it out for a few more hours, see if we can make something happen. After that pike, it just got me excited. Like, it, it's got my juices flowing. I'm thinking that maybe we can, we can make it happen again. We have one, two, three, four, five live baits going, and then I might actually do some jigging as well. So we're just gonna try to make the most of this. Sometimes when the snow comes, the bite turns off. So let's just see if we can make it happen. All we need is one fish. That right there is a fat lady singing. That's it, it's over. After Ryan and Dev left, they took all the good luck with them. We didn't have a single flag go off, not a single auto go off. But on the flip side, on the bright side, half glass full mentality here is we did get two pike. Mission success. You guys have been asking to see pike on the channel, which is so funny because up north, like people don't like pike sometimes, depends on the anger, mainly because they're just kind of slimy, nasty fish. You know, you lose expensive lures and you're bass fishing for them, but people like them up here, despite the fact that they're invasive and they're not supposed to be here. I personally like pike. I have a, I have a very strong bond and affection with pike. Pickerel, no, I hate pickerel. They can suck my pinky toe as far as I'm concerned. But what was good is we got it done and we we're gonna be back, I don't know about here, but maybe a different lake or, or something to go try to catch a big one. While we're up here for basically 20 days, we're gonna try to accomplish goals along the way. One of which is catch a main pike. This was the first ever main pike that ever caught. From here on out, I want to get one that's over 35 inches. That's not asking a whole lot. If you guys can think of anything that I need to include on the list of goals while we're up here in Maine, this is the last winter Maine send. So if you have anything you want us to do, now is the time. Drop in the comments and we'll make it happen. We'll make I'll make one of your goals a part of mine. But this is the last flag. This was the one that made today, tied it all together. Unfortunately, she's a little wiped out, couldn't go for round two. But maybe on the next endeavor, we'll get a big old donkey. <laughs> A little snowy. Just a little bit. Well, gang, how's the lighting? It's great. Better yet, how's my mustache I'm working on? You're working on a mustache? My main stat. Yeah, what do you mean? You can't tell? No, I can't. Anyway, we're back at camp. This is where we're gonna wind down today's video. I just wanna say thank you guys so much. Who's blowing up your... I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching these main videos. I feel the enthusiasm in the comments. You guys seem to be just as excited as I am to be up here snowmobiling, ice fishing, just ripping around, having a good time in mother nature's backyard. This is really what it's all about, but I can't wait to film these next like literally 20 days. We're not gonna film every day, but we are going to try. We're gonna try our very best. We've got a, a couple plans, some videos we wanna film for you guys. One of which was to catch a pike in Maine and we did that. So I feel like we accomplished something big today, but uh, yeah, appreciate all the support. Let's keep the main videos going for a little bit longer until spring spawn comes. But like I said, let's just focus on, on the winter send up here. Appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for sticking with it and joining me on today's mission. I will catch you guys next time on the next episode. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.